All right, what's up, YouTube? I got me and my little buddy out here today. Um, I got to try to catch some bait, but I, I did bring a box of night crawlers with me. So right now, I got these two rods set up with these automatic uh, hook set and rod holders from Amazon. Let me get a little closer. Y'all like my hair? <laughs> and I got a, I got a different style uh, rod holder with me, too. But uh, I got night crawlers on both of these rods. I'm about to throw my cast net a couple times to see if I can catch some shad. And uh, I just had a camera running, so if it uh, if it go off, you'll be able to see it. All right, I'm about to try to catch some bait. So if you hear that in the background, that's what it is. Now, I got another one. It's a decent size. I'm going to cut it up into two pieces and bake my other two rods up with it. And this is the other type. Uh, to me, this one is the better quality rod holder. Um, and it's stronger. It got a stronger spring. And uh, after I get this rod out, I'll tell you what I think about it. On this this rod right here, I got a eight eye Gamakatsu Octopus Circle. I probably should put a six eye hook on here, but I don't feel like changing it right now. So that's what I'm rolling with. I'm gonna put the bigger piece of bait on this one. Got a piece of shad on all of my hooks. I'm about to go try to catch more bait. So I have a uh, Team Catfish Jackhammer J hook on this rod. And uh, the other two I got circle hooks. Look, something just bumped the green one. Let's see if I can get it to sit off. Something pulling it, it's pulling it. And even though I have circle hooks on, on some of these rods, it, it still can. As long as your circle hook got an offset in it, it'll work. Let me see. I'm going to tighten the line up. I'm going to just move the camera and tighten the line up. See if I can get the, the action for you. Yeah, it seems like I actually get a better hookup ratio with the, uh, with the offset circle hooks. To me, it's just like... These things don't cost that much money, but the spring in them are not strong enough to really drive the hook through a lot of the fish's mouths. So with the circle hook, it's like the right amount of force, I guess. It's not too hard to where it pull a circle hook out of the fish's mouth. It's just right. Look, look at it, look at it. Let it pull it. It almost did it. Pull, 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 pull. It just gotta pull a little bit harder. And that that uh it's gonna go off. I wanna catch it on camera. There it go. Let me really Let me see. Let me okay. check my bait now. I wanna say hey to the viewers. You can say hey. See what I mean? And it looked like this rod might actually be too heavy. I know with them two smaller rods, it's kind of, it works out pretty well. This rod might be too heavy. Let 
Now I gotta catch some more bait. Look at that one. Look, that one did it. Did it catch it? Catch some more bait though. Just had a decent throw, so I got bait for a little while at least. So I'm excited about that. But uh let me show you something about this younger generation we got. I told them get both of the chairs. I told them get both of the chairs. Check this out. He got one chair and a tablet. <laughs> Where my chair at? Huh? Where my chair at? <laughs> See what I'm saying? That's how the younger generation do you, bro. I tell you what. I get my own chair, you too. Hey, hey, it don't even matter. Nah, but we about to uh, we about to bait up. We about to be more liberal with the bait now because uh. We got the means to do so, so let's get it. Use a whole shad. Seems like double hooking it is the best way to keep it on. And uh, see this hook has an offset. I don't know if you can see it with the shad on it. That's why these little rod holders work because like I said the spring isn't that strong but it sets the hook in like a sweeping motion just like you're supposed to do with circle hooks uh, I believe the reason why it didn't catch that fully hooked that guard that guard fish just now is because um, it just didn't pull it through the, through the guard fish's mouth but uh, let's get back out there enough talking let's get back out there I'm gonna give my green rod one more chance because it came up pretty slow last time. So I'm gonna get a green rod one more chance and if I don't hook up the next time I get a bite, then I just know that the spring is too weak. Look at that, they got guard fish tearing them little shad up out there. It might be a guard day. Last time I was out here though, this is the crazy thing about it. Last time I was out here, I said I just wanna relax and fish. I caught like 12 fish. And I caught a 20 pound, about a 20 pound catfish, just just leisurely relaxing. Now I'm out here with the camera and I might have a tough day. That's just how it goes though. But yeah, I cut the tail off of this shad and I'm about to bait that other rod up and uh, we're gonna give it another go. It's mandatory when you're fishing in the evening, especially in Louisiana.
I think that's a catfish, honestly. But I don't know. Pull it up. There you go. He act like it's so heavy. Reel it down and pull it up with both hands. Grab, grab right here. Yeah, hold it in front of the camera. Grab right here. See. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a nice size too. I see why it was struggling. I thought it was smaller than this, but it's a nice size little catfish. You gotta throw him back, man. You gotta let's get him off the hook. Woo! That was a good one. My arm hurt. Your arm hurt? Yeah. You're supposed to be a football player. Good point. Up in front of the camera. You gotta hold it tight before it's flopping around. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That thing pop! Let's throw him back. Uh, throw him back, cut. It's not gonna be pretty because we got a steep bank, but I'm not gonna hurt him, guys. There you go, not so gracefully in the water. Let's bait up and get another one. Let's go! I like that side. You like catching that side? Yeah. I want a bigger one though. See that? He was ready to play on the tablet and sit in the chair. Now we caught, caught a fish and he want to catch some more fish. How that go? I'm about to get him. We going to get on him. Hey, didn't the last time I cast that rod, I said that's him, right? I said that, right? Huh? All right. We'll make a show. I'm gonna catch another catfish. Why you don't like it? They annoying? Yeah, they annoying. They got short teeth. It's hard to get off of them. Unless it's a big one. I don't mind catching the big one. I'm about to check the bait on this one. Because it's been out for a while. I'm going to just cut the tail off it and make it bleed a little bit. <laughs> I cut the tail off and cut the stomach over. I'm gonna throw it over here to the right a little, just a little. Other way, 
You got to do the spot. Oh, the spring, the spring keeps getting wrapped. I don't know if it's on there, though. Three years later. Tip of the ride go down when you're real. Make the tip of the ride go down, then pick it up with both hands. Make the tip of the ride go down. Keep making the tip go down. I'll pick it up with both hands. <laughs> Get him! You ain't got a drink. Pick it up. Look, keep making the tip go down. I'll pick it up with both hands. You gonna run you into my other one. That bitch just doing what he want with you. <laughs> Look, come on this side. Whoa, that's a nice side. That was a goose. Come on. Come on this side. Get him up. You get him up. Look, make the tip go down. Tip, make the tip go down. I'll pick it up. Uh, I like that. <laughs> Look, he got him a goo. It's a nice size goo too. Come hold it up, bro. Tail your wrap. fish. Uh -uh. Hold the string. Watch the hook. Hold the string. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that water getting on him, man. Hold him up. Hold him. <laughs> hold the string. Look, hold the string. Hold the string. He's flopping so much. Hold up here then. He's a flopper. Hold up here. This, this little piece. Hold it up high as you can. Hold it. Come on. That's a nice size little goo, huh? Yeah. Wow. Two fish today. You caught two fish. See, now look. I was talking bad about that little automatic hook setup, but it's getting the job done. Come on, son. You got to throw it back. No, not the top, the side. Grab both sides. Throw it. Throw it. There you go. <laughs> wow. I might have to go throw that cast net again. We about to run through some bait now. Hold up. Hold up. I got to the two fish today. Two fish for life. This was doing it today. A half a shad, real bloody. This was doing it. Let's get us another one. <laughs> hey, as soon as the camera died, that one went off. And little buddy reeling it in. <laughs> Watch out, dude. <laughs> he got another catfish. Let me see. Oh, he swallowed the hook. No, he didn't. I can get it back. Bring the hook. Give me that uh that blue hook remover on that bag, on that black bag. One more look at him. Nice little blue. Nice, pretty little, healthy looking blue. Going back. But yeah, you see the, the circle hook and it got an offset on it. That means you can still set the hook. You just can't you just can't hammer on it like, like a J hook. You can still set it though. And I think with these springs being that they're not super strong, it's the right amount of force. I'll put this in the I'll put this in the I'll put this in
Four, four fish today. Oh, he got a, he got a flathead. Look at that. He got a little flathead, little goujon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that explains why the bite was so weird. I had to, uh, I had to trigger that one by myself, but I seen it had it. So I just went ahead and, and uh, set the mechanism off, but that explained why the bite was so weird. Let me throw it back. Woo, it's scratching a little bit. It's all good. Hey. Oh, good. We can do this more often. And look, Mr. Flathead was nice enough to leave us our piece of bait. Look at that, man. These uh, these hook set and rod holders doing the job for us today. I'm about to check the bait on green because uh, it was getting bit and then it nothing been playing with it for a little while. So I'm about to check green. Or we could do we could do one, two, three. Look! 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 Hold up. Again? Again. Must be a little hole. In a little honey hole. Look, and by the way, this one was, the bait was gone on it. Oh, yeah. Got another little channel catfish. We about to let him go. I'll go. I said, I'll hey, go. He's strong. It was fighting strong. That's why I thought it was so big. I could feel how strong this fish is. Go ahead, little buddy. I'll die. I'm about to try to get another one. Hey, don't get caught by nobody else except us. Now go. Go. 
Getting a, a strong enough hook set, so I won't be able to use this rod with the, with those rod holders. This is a a seven foot six inch Mad Catch rod. I'm so these little rod holders, I guess, uh, guess it's perfect for these smaller rods, but they're not strong enough for these bigger rods. So what I what I think I do next time is uh I, I might take one of my other springs and I might double the spring and see if that works. <laughs> what I do is I leave this this uh the spike in the ground like a regular rod holder and set it standing straight up. <clears throat> I think this might be garfish over here. Cause I'm not hooking up. I felt it, but I'm not hooking up with them. Dad, remember when you said they hard to get off the hook? Yeah, they're hard to get on the hook too. <laughs> not this. And like I said earlier, I should have uh, put a smaller hook on here, but I didn't feel like it, so that might be part of it. This eight out hook is probably too big, and so that's another thing, talking about your equipment. I know everybody want to use the biggest hook and the biggest piece of bait, but Sometimes if you get use like a smaller bait, smaller hook, your hookup ratio is gonna be insane. It's just a matter of maybe the hook too big to fit in the fish's mouth, or maybe they just not getting it all the way in there. Alright, enough talking. Let's get on another fish before it gets too dark. I'm gonna say it again. I think that's him. That's him. I am him. My little buddy wore out. He right there sitting in that seat, but I think he wore out. The fish got it out of him today. Spotted gone. Yeah, I actually think I because I just had uh the bottom end of the green rod sitting in it, like uh standing up. And I think it might make a decent rod holder because the garfish probably didn't feel as much resistance, and so it kept eating and eating until I decided to set the hook and uh I hooked up with him. Like if it's a standard rod holder, the fish will feel resistance and sometimes they drop the bait. But uh, I gotta, I gotta, I just caught some more shad and I'ma just bait my hooks up and I'll be out here till it get dark. If I don't get back with you, like the video,
comment on the video share it to your friends um subscribe to the channel it helps me out it helps grow my channel liking helps uh my videos get recommended Barfish going down the bank My hook remover. He got another one. Most of the stuff I'm using come off of Amazon besides my rods and stuff, but my rods are most of them are cheap rods. Like this hook remover. Either Amazon or Walmart. You don't have to be fancy. I think the most important part is you just gotta be where the fish at. So, this one just went off too. I don't think nothing on it though. Ah, he on there. Want to reel this one in there? Yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 that's something. That might be a gar. I know that's the something for a fact. I think it's a guard the way it's swimming. Yeah, it's a guard. It's definitely a guard. Cat, catfish, I wouldn't know about it. Yeah, that's a guard. It's a little small guard. Hold up, I got it for you. Uh, I got it for you. Hey, that man, who? Oh, you got it. Oh, hey, he, he, he was like, what you doing? <laughs> he pulled the hook out of his mouth. Good. I didn't want to deal with it anyway. All right, I know you can barely even see me. I think I'm gonna call that it for today's video. Me and my little buddy had a blast. Uh, if I catch another big one, I'm gonna turn the camera back on. We're just gonna sit out here and fish for a little bit longer. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, peace. Hey, you wanna say something to the camera thing? See y'all next time. Peace.